Hey, what's up guys? I'm working on the uh, 67 Volkswagen Karma Gia. And I'm trying to get this axle nut off. They're notorious for being on there extremely tight. I think around 250 to 300 pounds of torque. And they're very difficult to get off. Uh, I tried all the uh, normal sockets and wrenches and everything. And did some research and I found this tool and when I went down to my local uh, Volkswagen shop they had it available down at Triangle here in Orlando so I picked it up and it works <clears throat> it's pretty amazing how it works uh, you can put this regular socket on there 36 millimeter with a breaker bar and and a cre uh, an extension bar and pull extremely hard and it's not going to break loose I've tried it um, some people might be able to do it but I couldn't and this thing you put it on you give it a little bit of a tug and it starts to break loose it's pretty amazing so I did the other side I'm getting ready to do the uh, driver's side now um, I've lubed them up a little bit with some PB Blaster, just in case. And uh, I'll hook this up and show you how it works. It comes with two different sprockets uh, to grab. This one's for the flywheel, so you can take the gland nut off the flywheel with this. And uh, this, is, this one's to grab onto this little adapter here for the uh, axle nut. And what you use is, uh, this is a uh, 7 16 which will slip onto the, the drive here. I put an extension bar and then an adapter so I can use my bigger breaker bar just to get a little more leverage. So I got a half inch uh, breaker bar and I got an adapter to go to a 3 8 We've already got the passenger side off. Let's see if we can get the uh, driver's side off. I'm not sure if you're supposed to put it on like this or if you're supposed to flip it around like this. But um, I tried it like this on the other side. <clears throat> My <clears throat> the one issue I'm having with it is these holes aren't lining up properly. Um, they're close, but there's something not quite right. But <clears throat> I'm just not going to... Um, I'm not going to screw them all the way down too much so I don't strip out the holes. But that seems to be on there pretty good. And then this just slides right on the nut here. And uh, we'll put the wrench on, break the bar. Let's see if we can break this one loose. Now let me give you an example real quick of just trying it with the regular socket. Obviously that's not going to go right on there. Alright, so what I did is I got the car jacked up, took the tires off, and then I slowly set the axle and hub back down on the on the tire here that way hopefully it'll help it from turning i've got the emergency brake on got it in gear but it still wants to turn when you put a lot of pressure on it so i just want to give you an example here we're trying to use a regular breaker bar it's still it's still wanting to turn let's see this will make any difference here. And it slowly just readjust this. Oh, 
Let's see the wheels want to turn. There it goes. It just broke loose. Oh wow. Alright, so let's see if I can. It's a little awkward. Uh, but it does work. You can see it's starting to turn a little bit. Probably not doing it exactly right either, but <clears throat> let me readjust this a little bit. <clears throat> yep, there it goes. I don't know if you can see that turning, but it's tight, man. This really helps. It's pretty cool. I don't know who uh, came up with this, but that was a good idea. It could probably use a little bit of improvement. Seems to be a little awkward, but it definitely works. Glad I got it. There it goes. All right. It's probably loose enough now that I can just put the regular socket on there. Yep. So that's it, man. That's the uh, 20. torque multiplier tool. It works. All right, well, we uh, finally broke the wheel hub off on it for a while from the back side here sledgehammer and a couple other hammers and wood and whatever I could just get a grip on it and beat it and it finally popped loose after a few minutes this is the first time I've been take, taking it off since I've had it and it's a little dirty Not sure when the last time somebody was in here. Who knows? Could have been a long time ago. But, uh, there's where I was beating on it. Kind of screwed it up, but I'm going to get new rotors anyway new brake pads whole new brake kit seals get that all replaced I might even need new axles who knows but we're getting into it